on some level you think you're unlovable and unworthy the way you are so you have to change who you are to transform yourself into worthiness which of course is ridiculous so once i figured this out i, I felt like i figured out the secret to the universe honestly the thought is he doesn't want me so why do you think he doesn't want you so what it sounds like is that you are wanted. On some level you're wanted, but you're not able to receive that. You see that? And so then you think, oh, the reason I don't feel wanted is because he doesn't really want me. So I'll change who I am. So he really will want me. So here's what you have to remember. His desire for you, his want of you has nothing to do with you. It has to do with him. Okay. You're never going to be able to control that. It sucks, but it's also freedom right? Because if I have to control how you feel about me, it's never going to be enough, ever going to be enough. Because if I'm trying to get all of my emotional needs met through how my boyfriend feels about me, it's going to be, it's going to, I'm going to be needy and I'm going to be weird and I'm going to be obsessive because I'm going to be trying to control another human being, which is impossible. Yeah. What if you already had all the perfection and he still didn't want you? Remember, okay. that's just in your mind. He's told you that he does want you, but you would think right, he doesn't right. want you. What would you make that mean? That's the core of this for you. Okay. That, you're, that on some level, you think you're unlovable and unworthy the way you are. So you have to change who you are to transform yourself into worthiness, which of course is ridiculous when we think about it logically, right? So the question is, are you willing to give up all your suffering? And you can see why, because if you right. can believe that you can control another person and how they feel about you, then you never have to risk being abandoned, especially because you're abandoning yourself ahead of time, right? You're not even, he's right there wanting you and you can't even experience it because you're so afraid of not being able to control it. The only answer that I've ever been able to find to solve for that is to want myself and love myself and accept myself enough so I don't have to control other people doing it. And in order to give up my suffering, I have to be willing to give up the thoughts that make me suffer, but I'm very attached to them. So you're wondering, should I join Scholars? Hi there, it's Brooke Castillo. We teach you about your mental health. We teach you about your thoughts and thinking and cognition. The truth is in our brain. We teach you about your emotions and how much they affect what you do in your life. If you feel like you're just riding the line of normalcy or mediocrity and you want more, Scholars is the solution for that. For those of you who wanna join me, simply click on the button to enroll, fill out the form. I will give you full access to the website within minutes. I'm thrilled that you are interested in becoming a scholar and I can't wait to see you in class.